Hello, and thank you for listening to the NYSEF podcast. I'm your host, Jeff Fine, certified emotionally focused therapist, supervisor candidate, and director of public outreach on the NYSEF board. Whether you're a professional looking to deepen your knowledge of emotionally focused therapy, in a relationship and want to strengthen and repair your bond with your partner, or just want to stay connected with what's happening in the NYSEF community, there'll be something of interest to you in this podcast. I'm really excited to share with you my conversations with guests that include EFT trainers and supervisors and other professionals from around the world. So be ready to learn something new. Welcome to the NYSEF podcast. I'm your host, Jeff Fine, supervisor candidate, certified emotionally focused therapist and director of public outreach on the board of NYSEF. And we are here today with Wendy Tom Keel. Now we've had these, the first session, the two individual sessions, and now we come to this important fourth session where we come back with the couple. And this is our opportunity to take the information we've learned from the first session, the two individual sessions, and synthesize it in a way that we can then give it, give it to the couple to tell them what we're seeing and a little bit about their cycle. So how do we start that fourth session? They've now met with us, they've given us all this information and they're waiting eagerly to hear what we have to say. Yeah. How do we open that fourth session? Yeah, so I'm going to open that session up. I'm starting that session. I'm going to say, yeah, you know, probably something like, um, it was so great to really start to get to know both of you a bit better. I'm really appreciating your, you know, whatever I'm seeing that I'm appreciative of. Often it's their honesty, their vulnerability, um, what, whatever I'm seeing that I can that I see as a strength, I'm probably going to introduce some of that right from the start. You know how much this relationship means to both of you, how important you both are, how um, how clear you are about how this relationship is not is so solid. You know, I'm thinking about one couple where the they said from the first session like. Um, we will be together forever. There's no, there's no worry about that. We're just, you know, here's what we need help with, you know, being able to honor that, like, you know, you're like, you're in this for the, you're in this forever. And wow, that, so something that, that, you know, and if it isn't so clear as to what the strengths are, then it's going to be something that I am seeing that, um, you know, their motivation, their, um, their or their struggle you know if it's not that you know if it's that they're that they're struggling and that their openness and willingness to do something about it and that honoring that this is a really hard spot that they're in and that i really get that right. so something that knowing I, how hard like knowing how hard this is for you both mm -hmm. and how painful it's been that the courage you're showing to be here mm -hmm. and take this risk with each other wow Right. So we yeah. Sort of, yeah. Yeah. Again, like thinking about the alliance, I want them to feel like, you know, they've just done a vulnerable thing in the last few meetings with me. And they're opening up something to say, if we're agreeing to work together, then they're trusting me and that I want them to know that I see you. This, and this is what I see so that they are also feeling seen by me. Um, so I, there's something there that I, yeah, what I am seeing, I want to be communicating what I'm seeing. Um, what I'm also going to be letting them know is that this is a session where it's a, feed, it's a feedback session. And I'm going to be putting together some of what I've seen so far, where I'm seeing what I see as the problem as they've identified it, and um, how I see this first stage of treatment. And I'm clear about that that this treatment is in stages and that this is kind of how I see the first stage of treatment going. And it's gonna look different for different couples. Um, you know, like thinking about the one couple that comes in that says like, we've been together for, they were like, they've been married a really long time. They had grandchildren. They were very solid in their relationship, but there were some communication issues and life stage issues that they needed help with. 
Um, but they were both very clear about their commitment to each other, what they needed help with, that they were solid, their relationship was solid, and their goals were mutual and agreed upon. Very, it was, an e it was very easy. Our feedback session lasted like about, the feedback part of the session lasted about five minutes, and then we jumped right into the work. So because can I put you on the spot here, Wendy, uh, to, to, to like think about the, maybe a more escalated couple and, and how you might give them that feedback, you know, just like an example. Yeah, so an escalated couple, if, if they're like escalated, like um, depending on how they're showing up and receiving it. But if they're a couple that's still in like that escalated, like, First of all, are our goals mutual and are agreed upon? So if we have agreed upon goals, then what I'm gonna be doing is feeding some back about what I see as the, the cycle as I'm seeing it so far and how it seems like it's showing up as a problem for them. And I'd be explaining that it's something we're gonna be tracking together so that we can get underneath to the places that are, are um, are hidden from their partner and that they end up dealing with on their own so that they can begin to understand each other, know each other better and communicate from, from, from um, softer places. So right. it might kind of frame it that way. But some couples when they're, they're escalated but they're not in agreement yet. Like I might come back together from, those, from the um, individual sessions and find out that we are not, we don't have this, the goals are not mutual, right? Like I will ask the question. So one of the questions I ask in the individual sessions is what will it look like if our treatment is successful in your eyes? And I will ask that probably in the first session, but also in more detail in the individual sessions. Like what does it look like from their point of view? If what I find out in the, um, in the, individual sessions is one partner says, oh, we get back to our relationship like it was in the beginning. And I get one person that says, I won't feel guilty when this ends. What am I doing here, right? So I might have to, so that feedback session might not be just a five minute feedback session. It might be like, we don't have goals that are agreed upon right now. It seems like you are both in different places wanting different things from this therapy. You want to feel, you want this relationship to end and you want, my, you want help in, in smoothing that over, and you don't. So how, right? We have to come up with what is the course of our treatment together? Because again, if what I'm trying to do is create safety and alliance, like connect with people, I can't, for, I can't then, how am I gonna, you know, I can't force one person to do something just because the other person wants to. And we're gonna just be living in that negative cycle, right? Constant pushback. So, so let's assume, let's assume you've gotten to the place, the goals are aligned, mm -hmm. the feedback has lasted 15, 20, half an hour, and the couple looks at you and says, okay, great. Now what? Yep. Okay, so can you give me an example of this cycle that happens between you? Who's, who would be the best person to start? So in, and remember, this is, it's stage one, so it doesn't matter. We don't, you know, in stage two, it's the withdrawer that invites us into stage two, but we're in stage one. So it, it's whoever, you know, I would say who would be the best person to, um, you know, to get us started with the most recent example or, or not most recent, uh, the fresh, you know, an example that comes to your mind of where this cycle starts to take hold. And then you begin the work, right? Then you begin the work, okay. yeah. Right, good. So yeah, so now we're through the fourth session. Okay. And uh, just looking at notes here. And yeah. so ongoing sessions, you know, week in or week out or whatever the frequency is. Mm -hmm. How do you begin these ongoing sessions? Because if you just start by saying, how are you both doing? Is that effective? Um, no. I mean, you might, no, that's too, that's too, um, that's too general and it's too much of an introduction to like, it's too much of an invitation for their defense mechanisms to jump in, right? So there's a chance for my, you know, for one partner to start like, you know, 
criticizing or for another partner to go off on some tangent or it's too general. So it might be, um, how are you, how has your relationship been this week? Or how are you doing with each other might be more like, how are you doing? You know, I, I you can get 10 minutes of somebody starting to talk about like their stressful day at work or the weather. And that's an avoidant strategy, right? It's, it's a way of saying, I'm anxious about the work we're doing here today, or I'm anxious about whatever's happening and I've got to do something else. So I don't want to end up with something that feels too, um, too, too wide. You know, I want something that's going to bring us more to how are you doing with each other? And some of it is going to, is going to piggyback off of our recent session. So if I had, um, you know, of course it might be like, you know, hi, great to see you. Uh huh. Everybody. Okay. Let's, you know, depending on how they're showing up, like somebody's distracted, if someone's still on one person still on their phone. Okay. Let's come together. Let's be, see if we can get uh, into this present moment with each other. What do you need in order to leave uh, every, you know, leave something behind that might not be useful or necessary for our time together today. So let's see if we can like kind of close that out and come back together. Okay, hi. And then if there's something that we left off with in our last session, like I might, like if we're already trying, you know, tracking a cycle and we're doing that work, I probably have left a previous session asking them, let, let's see if you can notice when it starts happening. See if you, one of you, and see what, what, what it, you know, maybe each partner has, I've asked them to do something about it. Have I asked them to recognize it? Have we gotten to the point where, where they're seeing it and they're supposed to say like, uh oh, you know, this is our cycle, whatever we call it. You know, so that would be a, a good way to begin by saying, how are you doing recognizing uh, the cycle that we have started to unpack last week? Yes. So that's exactly. And if that's what we've that's what we left with, then particularly, then I want to know. And if there's been anything that I've asked them to do, I want to start with that. Well, how did that go? You guys said that um, there was going to be, you know, the time devoted to this. You had said that there was going to be some couple time together. What happened? Would you would you would you sort of uh, frame it as you know? I'm thinking we could begin by you know where we left off and what you're recognizing in your cycle this past week, unless anything is really pressing. Yes, absolutely. Uh -huh. I will be doing that, especially in stage two, um, because because we will be. I think we will, like, there will be things about either the last session or since the last session, if anything's transpired without me that I want to follow up on. So I think it will be very, uh, I will have specific questions about the follow up. I might even, you know, send a reminder like, okay, so unless there's, it, it, that's more for me, stage two sessions look a lot like that. So um, unless there's anything that's happened since our, you know, that that's pressing that we, you guys really want to focus on today. Is it okay if we go back to where we ended off last time? Yeah, are you guys remembering where we were when da da da? I might even repeat kind of what my recollection was, if that's their recollection, and what's anything coming up right now, anything that that happened over the course of the week since then any reflections that they've had about that experience. Um, so I might just kind of invite that because it, it's like the hour ended before everything was all finished. So we're just kind of along that process. So, and I don't wanna just get distracted by things that might not be moving us along unless there's something that happened or you know that really needs our attention. <laughs>